Welcome to this new episode of The Context. I'm talking to you from Seoul, South Korea. I came here to help my daughter Jordana start her new life. Does she know what uh, she is going to do? Well, not really. Is she going to make mistakes? Oh yeah, plenty. And when you turn 20, as uh, it was her case just uh, a few weeks ago, that is your privilege to go out and try and see what works. And of course, with uh, the support of her friends and, and family and a little bit of savings that she has and risk it all. It's just exhilarating and wonderful, such an adventure. And uh, of course, uh, she has uh, certain plans. Uh, she just uh, released her first K-pop song and uh, you can uh, look in the notes of the video to listen to it and to send it to all your friends. I hope you will like it. She would like to get into the world of K-pop, Korean pop music. Um, if uh, you heard a few years ago the song Gangnam Style, you heard something from K-pop. And then she uh, also wants to do uh, online uh, social uh, media marketing uh, and uh, content uh, uh, creation, both video as well as content writing. If you have uh, teams that uh, want to add uh, a passionate, creative uh, and curious person, um, uh, including part-time, that can help with these activities, you know that uh, she can be a very, very positive contribution to those activities. So, uh, I have had the chance of uh, coming to Korea already um, over the course of the past uh, 20 years. Uh, the country is fascinating. And if you look at um, Asia in general, of course, there are so many differences. It is uh, amazing. But looking at Japan, um, Korea and China, not China overall, but China as represented by the leading edge uh, city of Shanghai, it is, I think, interesting to look at how things uh, evolve and how things uh, develop, both in terms of technologies that are available to build um, the Shinkansen in Japan or the bullet trains now in China, even outperforming those, or uh, the, the social technologies that are much more group and community oriented than not uh, in Europe or, or even more so individualistic uh, in the United States. Uh, when I first came here um, in uh, Seoul, I was taught how you always uh, look at your glass and if it is empty, you pour to the other person who will automatically look at your glass and seeing that it is empty will pour to you. But it is bad custom to pour yourself. Or another quirk, uh, or custom of the language where uh, people referring to their family and, and uh, uh, sisters and brothers, they always use uh, the plural. They don't say, I did this, I did that uh, with my family. They always exclusively use the plural. We uh, did this together, referring to the group. Uh, the work ethic is uh, amazing. I remember when I would be together with uh, the group that hosted me in my previous trips and uh, they would uh, show me around the city and have lunch together and then dinner together and then karaoke and whatever else. And then come 10 p.m., 11 p.m. or midnight, uh, they would ask me if I needed anything else uh, or I was ready to, uh, uh, to go to sleep. And I would say, yep, I'm ready. Absolutely. And they would uh, very gracefully wave me goodbye and add that the, at the time they would go back to the office because given that they spent all the day with me, they have work to do. So now they are going back to the office to make sure that the work 
is done. This is also the kind of uh, dedication, loyalty and commitment that uh, you seldom see uh, in uh, an enterprise, a corporation in the West, unless maybe you talk about a startup and the founders uh, where this uh, sacrifice is uh, expected and, and, and universal, but not uh, for, for employees. In the Korean um, society, the past uh, 50 years uh, were an amazing change. Uh, of course, um, before the Korean War, South Korea and North Korea, being a single country, were more or less on the same level uh, of um, poverty. Uh, it was a developing country. But since then, South Korea uh, exploded uh, in its economic and social development. And uh, it was uh, a dictatorship for a few decades. It is now a democracy and uh, it uh, has seen blossoming very important uh, conglomerates, uh, Samsung, Foremost, but also LG and, and others. 10 plus uh, years ago, uh, the Korean government understood that relying on uh, these large companies and their hardware production would not be enough to firmly establish Korea as a leading uh, commercial producer, uh, they realized that the software layers were uh, equally important. They were um, not successful breaking into um, computer programs, computer software. There have been uh, some successes uh, internationally uh, Namo Web Editor used to be a worldwide leading uh, uh, software package that uh, you could install on your computer in order to um, create web pages, editing the code, making sure in a fairly WYSIWYG what you see is what you get environment that uh, everything would work. And uh, Together with, uh, with, with that, there were some other successful um, software companies for, for personal computers, but uh, the, the industry didn't really take off. Where absolutely uh, Korea uh, achieved great worldwide success is in uh, the equivalent of uh, creating a local Hollywood. Both developing uh, what is what are called the Korean drama, uh, the equivalent of uh, soap operas uh, that are not only successful locally, but uh, I would say on a worldwide basis. Uh, that is actually how my daughter Jordana learned English. She was already passionate about Korean drama at the age of 11 or 12, and uh, she uh, participated uh, on uh, platforms of uh, fan uh, subbing uh, uh, communities where she would um, read uh, the English uh, subtitles of Korean drama and translate it uh, to Italian, for example. And um, the other area of, uh, of great uh, success for the local content industry is what I already mentioned, uh, pop music. K-pop is uh, fascinating because um, it is what you would uh, call a totally artificial uh, art form uh, rather than uh, having roots uh, uh, in folklore going back hundreds or thousands of years. However, it is an extremely rich and, and inclusive uh, form of music. You can have K-pop in uh, rock, in rap, in uh, blues or jazz, uh, all kinds of styles uh, can uh, become uh, K-pop uh, success stories. And, and the groups uh, uh, are also uh, interesting, uh, how they are designed and how they are then uh, presented. 
it is also an extremely competitive uh, world uh, where uh, in order to succeed uh, you really have to give uh, everything you have so I will definitely be uh, following uh, and, and, and trying to help Jordana as much uh, as I can from, from afar uh, in, in, in seeing how she, she goes about uh, what, what she does. She already has a YouTube channel where she learned all kinds of skills of uh, um, shooting a video, editing a video, uh, in applying uh, all kinds of uh, special effects, of course, uploading and then sharing uh, in the appropriate manner so that it has the largest possible uh, impact. Also, with her song, she was able to find uh, the uh, person who would compose the music, the other person who would write uh, the, uh, the, the, the text. Um, then uh, she found a studio for the recording, and then she went back, uh, I don't know, like a dozen times to fine-tune everything based on the garage band source uh, that uh, the composer provided her. And this very skill of um, being able to uh, select the, the various uh, people needed in a, in a team and then manage them to, to collaborate and create uh, what is then um, a nice packaged product, in this case the song, is itself uh, valuable. So she has shown to be self-driven and uh, able to learn what is needed to reach her goals. Uh, that is uh, what makes me optimistic that uh, whatever the end result is going to be, she will be able to navigate towards the goal uh, and corral the resources needed and, and learn the skills uh, that, are, that are necessary. In uh, her um, uh, initial stay, uh, the most important first task was uh, to find uh, an apartment uh, to rent and uh, here they call them rooms because actually they are all uh, a single studio uh, room like where I am right now um, where in a single space you have the living space the, the uh, place where you, you, you sleep <coughs> <coughs> the, the kitchen area, uh, the, the bathroom, separated by, by a wall, but uh, part of the same volume. And uh, so um, yesterday we went around and the day before uh, visiting uh, about half a dozen different places in order to get a sense for uh, what uh, would be uh, the possible set of parameters given her budget. And uh, today... She decided on uh, which is the one that uh, she wants to pick. So she, soon she will be signing the, the, the lease uh, agreement or the rental agreement rather and uh, move in. And she will have her uh, Sinchon uh, Seoul apartment address. Absolutely exciting and, and, and fascinating. So the opportunity today of uh, moving and experiencing different languages and different cultures is really open to anybody. Um, almost uh, regardless of, of your budget, um, there are places that are extremely inexpensive compared to uh, Western European or, or American standards. Um, and that means that uh, you can launch yourself uh, if you are attracted by this um, opportunity uh, at any moment because you can structure things to open up these uh, uh, new opportunities to yourself. For example, if you are already uh, paying a mortgage on your home uh, but you want to move, rather than selling the house uh, maybe in a moment in the real estate market that is not optimal you can um, put it on an airbnb while you are traveling and 
there is now an entire ecosystem of uh, uh, providers that will help you manage the Airbnb listing and your property even you are when you are not physically there. They will come and clean. Uh, they will make sure that everything is in order and uh, you will be able to pay your mortgage with uh, the Airbnb uh, income and maybe uh, already partially cover your expenses as you travel. For example, uh, in Thailand, things are very cheap and wonderful. Uh, uh, another of my children, Cosimo, uh, just uh, had a wonderful trip in, in Thailand and uh, uh, really was able to organize things so that uh, he would spend very, very little to, to sleep and very little to, to eat. So more and more people are able to experience different cultures. And I believe this is fundamental. This is very important. Contrary to what was the expectation maybe 40, 50 years ago, the interconnectedness of the world did not bring homogenization. Yes, we can find uh, the franchise chains uh, here in Seoul. And if it, that is what we choose, we will be able to go and eat there. But uh, the local food environment is thriving and it has not been impacted by uh, the uh, big uh, multinational global franchises negatively. Uh, at least as far as I can perceive it. Uh, to even further, if anything, uh, it is the franchises that have to adapt. When I was in India, uh, I took a photo of the McDonald's menu uh, serving vegetarian uh, hamburgers, evidently necessary in a country where cows are sacred and you would not want to serve hamburgers made out of them. So this kind of re-emerging of variation that even those companies that are based on standardization necessarily adopt is a, a, an interesting and an essential component of an evolutionary um, variation and source of uh, rich solutions that are found uh, all over. Another example is how uh, we used uh, to um, condescendingly talk about the Chinese internet uh, stifled as we thought behind uh, the great uh, firewall of China, where um, all the platforms developed in the West uh, couldn't penetrate uh, because the official government policy wouldn't let them. But what happened is that through this uh, protection and the progressive uh, connection of more and more uh, Chinese people, now hundreds of millions, I don't know what the latest numbers are, um, people on broadband connectivity, both uh, DSL or cable or fiber optic, uh, but also in ever increasing numbers, through their smartphones needed and were able to eagerly adopt what the local solutions were. So rather than Google, uh, there would be Baidu and rather than Twitter or Facebook, there would be the local equivalents of uh, Weibo and Tencent and others. To the point where quite uh, famously, uh, the acceleration of these platforms leaped, uh, leapfrogged the solutions that are used today in Europe or in the US. Uh, WeChat, uh, which is kind of the Chinese equivalent of WhatsApp, uh, is much more feature rich, where people not only exchange text messages, but also search and book restaurants, pay uh, the taxi fare, and many other functions. Famously, uh, QR codes have been adopted 
uh, in China as the payment mechanism uh, of choice and uh, now are ubiquitous and uh, the latest uh, trend is uh, face uh, recognition for many functions uh, including payments so the variations that can occur in culture and technology solutions are both due to the adaptation that necessarily large organizations make uh, when they want to succeed in a local market that is open to them. This is the example of McDonald's in India putting a vegetarian uh, burger on its menu, as well as the variation comes from protected markets developing local solutions that are eagerly adopted by uh, those uh, customers who necessarily have to pick uh, from the ones available to them. But these platforms potentially can also leapfrog in functionality those that are competing in the open environments. Japan, Korea and China are but just three examples of uh, interesting, intriguing and thriving uh, cultures uh, in the East that are influencing through their drama, their music, their technology, their mobile phones, uh, the world. And uh, I hope many of you uh, will have the opportunity to visit but if not to come in person, uh, at least to dig a little bit deeper in trying to understand what is going on in all of these places and to connect with people uh, on your social networks or in other ways in order to learn about those cultures and learn about the people. Thank you very much for watching this uh, episode of uh, The Context and uh, i am looking forward to recording the next one for you in a few days and in the meantime i'm awaiting for your questions uh, your feedback and uh, uh, looking forward to interacting online or meeting you in person